That one looks kind of funky. We're gonna do it again. Decisions, decisions. I want to die in a hole. Hold up. What is that? Look at this. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Apologies about my voice. It's the first I've really spoken this morning, so it's still warming up, but it is about quarter past 10 at the moment. I've had a very lazy morning so far. I've only kind of just really gotten out of bed. I haven't worked out yet. I haven't eaten anything yet. And I have a work meeting in about 40 minutes. So I need to get a move on if I actually want to have some breakfast while it's still the AM. I'll have that meeting and then I'll do today's planner workout, which is actually a HIIT workout. And I'm really like not quite vibing a HIIT workout at the moment, but I know I'll feel so good after I get it done. For now, I'm going to eat. I'm actually going to try. I don't know if any of you guys watch Connor on YouTube. She's another Aussie YouTuber from Brisbane. Um, she makes these pancakes like every single morning and I've been wanting to try them for the longest time, but just never got around to it because I was always having like smashed avo on toast and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have pancakes today. So let's go make some pancakes. That one looks kind of funky. We're gonna do it again. to die in a hole. <laughs> so as you can see, I did end up making my pancakes um, after the <laughs> atrocity, atro atro after the failed first attempt that was my pancake, um, we did end up doing pretty well. Story time. So I turned off the camera after I really failed that first pancake because I'm like, this is such an embarrassment. I do not need to document this if I can't even make pancakes. And the doorbell rings. And like, I'm not wearing this. I am just like in, I have a sports bra on under this. So I was just hanging out in like that and shorts because I'm in the kitchen. Like no one else is really home. My brother's asleep and my dad's in a work meeting and the doorbell rings and i completely forgot my mom told me that there were guys coming to fix the air con today but she didn't tell me what time they were coming and it was the dude to fix the air con and i'm standing here hang on let me show you what i'm wearing first off this is what i was wearing when i opened the door i've pulled my shorts down recently but they were honestly like tucked up here that it looked like i wasn't wearing pants and that is how i've opened the door to the guy who wants to fix our aircon and honestly he didn't look that much older than me and I'm kind of like fuck like this is how I opened the door to a stranger cool and you'd think maybe oh it can't get any worse than this because I'm going to hide out in the kitchen and continue making my pancakes while you know like he just fixes everything and I went and got my dad so I'm in the kitchen, still failing at making pancakes. And then I hear the boots coming down the hallway and I'm like, please, 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 please don't come in the kitchen. Don't come in the kitchen. What does he do? He comes in the kitchen. And once again, my shorts have ridden up since I pulled them down when he got here. That it again looks like I'm not wearing pants. Oh, it was just so embarrassing. I had like 10 minutes until my work meeting was started and I was still cooking my pancakes. And this just isn't the Monday morning that I wanted to have. But anyway, I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube while I eat this. But it's like 12 o'clock now. And like, I haven't done anything. And I'm like, this is not the productive start to the week that I wanted to have. But it's fine. It's completely fine. We've had an eventful morning. later and by several hours I mean it's actually 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I spent a majority of the day today at High Point with my aunt which is just a massive shopping center. I figured I would show you guys what I got today. I know 
some people might not like watching these things, but I personally love watching people's vlogs when they show what they got when they go shopping. So, you know, if you don't really want to watch, then you can just skip ahead if you like. Now, I am incredibly grateful because all of these were actually um, bought for me by my aunt as kind of a combination Christmas and 21st present since my birthday is next month. Thank you so much to my aunt. I don't even know if she watches my YouTube videos. Thank you so much. I'm incredibly grateful. I... I feel bad. I like I feel so terrible when people buy me things. I'll show you guys what I got. So I'll start with the tops. So the first one, I don't actually know how to say where it's from, like Kukai. And I just got this like plain black top. Excuse the line straight down the middle. But it's honestly actually a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Like it's such good quality. It fits really nicely, especially around the arms and the waist. And I feel like it's just a staple that, you know, like everyone needs to just have a play black top. Apparently I don't have one. I have this, but this is actually like a hiking top from Kathmandu. <laughs> and the next two I got from Glassens and they're the exact same top, just in two different colors. I feel like these are also staple pieces. We've just got this nice little, I don't know, is that a halter neck? Is that, is that what that is? Very nice, very simple, it fits really well. And then we have the same top in this color. I, it actually looks like it's coming up kind of pinky on the camera. I could be very wrong about that when editing. But if anything, I'd say it's more of like a chocolate brown or like a mocha kind of color. The tag says Misty Rose. Um, don't quite know how they got that. The last top that I got is more one that I plan to wear to work and it's from Portman's. It's just this really nice kind of like knitted, is it a top? It's not quite, it's not a jumper. It's that like really nice thin knitted material, if you get what I mean. It is just tied around the sleeves and around the waist. It fits so well, just in this navy blue color. Kind of in love with it. Next, I have two pairs of pants. I got these jeans. It's very hard to show jeans. I've never realized this before. These are the original 501 jeans from Levi's. They're honestly... So nice, such a nice color. Apparently this is like their most popular wash that people always go to buy. And it is very rigid at the moment. So I've been told that it will loosen up in the first couple of wears. I don't have to wait too long because these are all like, there's no zip, there are just buttons at the front here. And trying to do these up was so difficult. If I do say so myself, they make my tiny ass look kind of good. And the last pair of pants that I got was from Portman's and this is also a, like a work kind of attire thing. So it's just these nice black pants. I've been meaning to get pants like this for work for some time because since I work for uh, my local council, I'm not allowed to wear blue denim. I'm pretty sure it's the same with a couple of other jobs as well, just because it can look a tad unprofessional. So this is the high rise slim leg from Portman's. It doesn't have pockets. It looks like they do, but they're fake. And I was, I'm kind of a little bit cut about that because we've got fake pockets in both the front and the back, but they are honestly so nice. They're nice and stretchy. So when you have them on, they're not too tight, even though it is like a slim leg. The last thing that I'm gonna show you guys today was actually a treat to myself. It's a little early birthday present. Um, and that is a Kindle. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding that so strange. Hello there. I do have an e-reader. I think I may have mentioned that before. I have a Kobo e-reader. But I just found that for the types of books that I'm reading at the moment, they don't actually sell them on the Kobo store. And so I was always buying them from Amazon anyway and just reading it on the Kindle app on my phone. And I was finding it very difficult because I was always getting sidetracked and just spending so much more time on my phone than I needed to. My phone battery was dying all the time. It was just such a pain that I'm like, you know what, no. I need to invest in an actual Kindle. I find myself reading ebooks a lot more than physical books nowadays anyway. Um, and just figured that this would be the best option for me at the moment. But yeah, that is everything that I got today. So I just thought that I would, you know, show you guys. I think for the moment I am going to keep charging this Kindle. And I'm going to read a little bit more before I'm going over to my aunt's place tonight for dinner. Good morning guys, it's now almost 11 o'clock on Wednesday. I'm just editing the clips from yesterday that you would have just watched while I'm waiting for some work emails to come in. I thought I had so much work to do because like my list just kept growing of things. But all in all, it took me maybe like an hour to get it done. 
and now it's just waiting on people to get back to me about certain things so that I can continue doing my work. So it's gonna be a lot of playing the waiting game today, but I do still have to be by my computer because we have a very important event coming up at my work tomorrow that I'm actually, I don't wanna say that like I'm running it, but it's kind of my baby. I'm pretty sure I've said this in one of my past vlogs, but during lockdown in COVID last year, I was kind of redeployed to the youth team as part of the library. So I've been helping them since maybe June last year and my team leader came up to me, well, at a meeting, she virtually came to me and just said, look, we've been thinking of running an author takeover on our Instagram account, but we don't quite have the time to plan it at the moment. So do you want to have some fun with that? And I was like, heck yes, I would love to have some fun with that. I don't really want to say too much about it just because then that would clue everyone into where I live. But you know, I wanted to share that it's something that I'm doing. And so that's actually happening tomorrow. So I'm very excited. I've just got some last minute little details that need to be sorted out. And I'm also waiting on some communication about that as well. So that's the other reason I've got to stick by my laptop today. Not exactly an invigorating day today, but it's gotta be done. Also, just thought I'd point this out. I'm currently wearing my The Center Will Hold t-shirt. So if anyone's read Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead, then you will know where that is from. <laughs> I did stock up on pre-workout, so I actually bought three flavors. So I have the sweet strawberry, which I've heard so many people recommending. I know that this is like a fan favorite when it comes to Naked Harvest, and I'm definitely so excited to try this. And I also picked up the tropical iced tea flavor. Now I've heard quite a few Aussie YouTubers really saying that they love this one as well. So definitely so excited to have my hands on this and I cannot wait. I don't know which one I want to try tomorrow. Oh, decisions, decisions. I was kind of like, oh, like I should try them today. But then I'm thinking, mm, we already had pre-workout this morning. I probably don't need to have more. Especially considering I didn't just get these two. I also got the candy cane one. Woo! I think it might have been in November that they released the Christmas bundle so you could get the candy cane flavored pre-workout as well as the Christmas cinnamon cookies flavored protein powder. And I was going to buy the bundle. I decided not to and then they sold out. So when they said that they were releasing limited stock for this sale, I was like, I need to get my hands on it. I just realized you can see my Crocs in the background. We're gonna move this. The other thing that I picked up was Naked Harvest's water bottle. Probably wasn't necessary but I wanted it. I actually love the color. I think it's just a really pretty neutral tone, but on top of that, other way, Caitlin, it has a straw. And I definitely know that if I have a straw, I tend to drink so much more water. So this will definitely come in handy. And it's also an insulated water bottle. How good is that? So you can put water in this and it will stay cold for hours. But those were the only things that I actually ordered. But they were saying on the Instagram posts that if you spent over a hundred dollars, you would get a free gift in your package. And I had no idea what it was, but there are two things in here actually. So the first one is a sample of the Lemon Lime Crush pre-workout. And this is the only flavor I think of theirs that I don't actually have in my possession at the moment. The only reason I didn't actually buy it for myself is that I'm generally not a fan of like lemon lime flavored drinks. And so I'm thinking I wouldn't really want to be drinking it before a workout, but I'm very happy that I have a sample of this so that I can at least try it beforehand. And the other thing comes in its own little baggie. How cute is that? I was actually contemplating ordering these as well because they were on sale and then I'm like, nah, we won't do it. They're Naked Harvest measuring spoons. How cute is that? So you've got the one teaspoon, which is perfect for pre-workout because one serving is three of these babies. And then you've got this big one. Now I'm assuming that this would be for the protein powder. And what's awesome about this, you can probably tell just by looking at the end of it, it's actually a clip. I almost just poked my bloody eye out with the thing. So pretty much you can scoop your protein powder and then you clip it to the bag. How sick is that? Nice. It is time 
to try the candy cane pre-workout. I was going to work out a little bit earlier this morning. It's actually after 8 o'clock at the moment. But we were having some troubles with the takeover. But they've all been sorted. So I can just stop panicking for a second to smash out a workout. And then I'll go back to monitoring the account. I'm going to be so mad at myself if I love it. Because I put off buying it for so long. Oh, oh. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, I get why everyone likes it so much. It really does taste like a candy cane. Oh my goodness, it's Delivery Central over here. I know I just unboxed my Naked Harvest package yesterday, but I just got this in the mail, which is the order that I made at Gymshark last week. And I was kind of worried that it wouldn't get here before I went to work because it said it was coming at the end of the day. But it's 12.30 at the moment, so very excited to open this up. I don't think I'm going to try any of it on just yet, just because I was literally just about to hop in the shower when the doorbell rang. So I'm still kind of gross from my workout this morning. But I'll probably try them on after that. But I just wanted to open it on camera because I love it when people do that. So I'm like, I want to do that. Look at this! How exciting. I have two pairs of tops. Wait, what? Two tops, two pairs of shorts. That was what I meant to say. So we'll start with the tops because I'm most excited about the shorts. Oh, that feels nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the first thing that I got. This cropped blue shirt. How nice is that with the logo down the front? But are you ready for the kicker? The back. Look at that logo. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Oh wow, I am in love with that. It looks and feels so much nicer than I thought it would. So this is the Pulse Graphic Crop Top in Sprint Blue. Oh, I'm in love with the color. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're off to a good start. And that actually looks all right sizing wise. I think I've made the right decision. All right, the next one... Ooh, okay, so this is another little like black cropped one. <laughs> Look at me forgetting what I bought and I literally ordered like four things. Another black cropped top, this time with just the shark logo on the front. And again, I'm loving the back logos that Gymshark has at the moment because look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. And this feels more of like a fabric material, whereas this one feels more like the active wear like sweat wicking kind of material but i love it this one is the slice graphic crop top in black okay on to the shorts so the first pair of shorts are just these plain black bike shorts this feels so nice oh my goodness oh yeah that's got some nice stretch to it this waistband is so thick the shorts feel oh they feel so nice Oh my goodness. Look at that. You've got the classic Gymshark logo on the back here. So this is the Flex Cycling Shorts in black slash charcoal. And moving on to like the main reason I made this order. I was going to order it a while ago, but then they went out of stock. And I thought it was a sign that it wasn't meant to be. And then they came back in stock. And I was like, screw the sign. I'm buying it. Woohoo! So these are the Hyper Amplify Seamless Shorts in Black Marl. Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. This waistband feels so nice. It's nowhere near as thick as this one. So the front, the back. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. But I need to go have a shower before I can put any of this on. So it's several hours later. It's 20 past 3 at the moment. So I have a little bit longer to go until I have to get ready for work, which starts at 5. I have an evening shift tonight. I've realized that it's Thursday. I've barely read anything all week. And I haven't even talked to you guys about what I'm reading at the moment. It's very exciting that this is the first book that I'm reading on my Kindle. So I'm currently reading Always the Groomsman by Riley Rubens. And I'm absolutely loving it so far. So we're following Zane, who has been a groomsman in nine weddings. This is his 10th. And he's kind of over it at this point because he just got out of a decade-long relationship and he's realizing that it wasn't healthy at all. His boyfriend was criticizing him all the time and putting him down and telling him he wasn't good enough. And he just thought that that's what relationships were. And now he's come to this really small town in Idaho for his best friend's wedding. 
and can't seem to take his eye off the best man, Sebastian, who is completely his opposite. He is so bubbly and energetic and so optimistic and just such a kind-hearted person. They are almost polar opposites and yet they can't seem to stay away from each other. Of course, you've got the massive issue that Zayn is actually from Los Angeles, whereas Sebastian is from this small town. Zayn just got out of a relationship. He's not really looking for anything, and he doubts Sebastian is either, and it's just kind of what's going to happen from here. So I think, I don't actually know how far into this story I am. I have fallen asleep while reading it several nights in a row, and that's not to say anything about the book. That's just how tired I've been. I'm currently 70% through at the moment. So we're on chapter 13 and I am so stoked to see where it's going to go next. I'm absolutely loving it. The characters are so good, so funny. There are so many just quotable lines in here as well that I'm absolutely loving. And I'm also loving that we're having a little bit of a role reversal here because it is such a cliche in so many romances that, you know, like you've got the stronger character takes after the weaker character. But this is just so different. It's, you know, the smaller guy is taking care of the bigger guy when he shows such moments of vulnerability and I'm absolutely loving it. Like, I just think it's a little bit different to the cliche and I feel like that's what's really appealing to me at the moment. Okay, I'm home from work. It's 10 to 9 at the moment, so I've gone and reheated some dinner and had that. But I'm actually going to go for a drive with my friends at the moment, so we're going to head down to a beach for a little bit, catch up with one of our other mates, probably just sit and chat for a while. I was aiming to try and finish Always the Groomsman tonight, but I don't have as much work to do tomorrow now that the takeover is finished, so I might be able to smash that out during the day tomorrow, actually. Actually, which I'm so excited about. I think I'm maybe 80% of the way through, so I definitely don't have much longer to go. And I think after that, I'm going to be delving into something YA. I'm not too sure just yet. I'm torn between so many options. It is now Friday. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I've just been out with my mum picking up some groceries and also booked in a hair appointment because I want to go a little bit blonder, like just some highlights and stuff. I had it done a couple years ago for my 18th, but it's all grown out now. But to be honest, I don't quite know what to do today because majority of my work I finished in the beginning of the week. I just have these clips to edit for the past couple days, but I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. So I'm thinking I could sit outside and read because it is supposed to get to maybe 26 today. I haven't worked out either. Today was the first day in a while that I've woken up with just absolutely no motivation to work out. I'm figuring I might go for a walk a little bit later if I'm feeling up to it. I don't know. I need some motivation. Another thing that I'm thinking I might do before I read though is actually do some not work. So <laughs> I feel like that sounds so sus. In Outdoor Ed, we did learn a lot of knots to do and I haven't done them in over a year and I'm kind of worried that I might have forgotten some. So I kind of want to give them a go and see, you know, like which ones I can remember. There she is. Hey, don't bite. Ow. <laughs> Well, that was rude. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So apparently I would be useless if you took me out in the bush now. I still got it. I still got it. It's probably a little bit looser than I would like. But this is the first time I've tied something like this in over a year, so I'm pretty happy with myself. Okay, let's have a look, what have we got? So, I'm so proud of myself, oh my goodness. Did not think I was gonna be able to do that. It took me a little bit longer than I anticipated. But anyway. So we've got a bow line over here. Then, along we go, we've got our truckies hitch. It looks a little bit funky, to be honest but our truckies that we've tightened it with. And then I'll come on the other side for this. I've just tied it off with a rolling hitch. Lunch is on the way. It's only a little bit of chicken because I'm probably gonna add some tuna as well, but we've got that. Chopped up some lettuce, carrot, and cucumber. I've got some chickpeas over there. <laughs> Lost track of them for a second. Um, but I'm just 
currently listening along to and watching when I can um, Reagan's new reading vlog where she's binging the Graceling trilogy over the weekend in you know preparation preparation in anticipation of the release of the fourth one pretty sure it's already out at this point definitely enjoying the vlog so far I feel like I've been binging some of her videos recently but What's not to love? And then I'm very excited. I ended up finishing Always the Groomsmen last night when we went to the beach. Um, I was really cold and didn't want to go on the water. So while they were dipping their feet in, I was just sprawled on the sand reading my book. Actually loved the ending. I was so happy with where we went. And I just, I love the characters. Zane and Sebastian are so good. I love Ellisville as well. Like it's really just making me want to visit a small town, all of these books that I've been reading. But I ended up giving it a four out of five stars in Goodreads. It didn't quite have that spark to it that made me want to give it a five, but it was definitely still something that I really enjoyed. And now I have moved on to another book, but I can't actually remember what it's called. I think it's Racing Into Love, possibly. I'll put the cover of it here. All I really know of it so far is that you've got Aiden and I think he's maybe the owner of a bookstore. We haven't quite like gotten to that introduction point of the other character yet, but I'm pretty sure he's maybe like a driver, like a race car driver or something like that. And he comes into the bookstore at like the end of a disastrous date, kind of like teases Aiden about it. Let's know that he's interested, but Aiden kind of thinks he's a bit of a dick. I really don't know where we're going with it, but it sounds pretty good at the moment. I think I only made it maybe a chapter in and then I fell asleep. But I'm really hoping that it's a dual point of view. I absolutely love reading dual point of views, but I have a feeling that this is going to be told solely from Aiden's point of view. I'm like, ugh. I've gotten so used to reading dual point of views over the past year that whenever I get one that's just like from one solo perspective, honestly feels like a little bit of a drag. So I have my lunch. I might actually show you guys first. This is what my lunch looks like. So you've got chicken, lettuce, carrot, cucumber. I also popped in some chickpeas, egg white, and basmati rice. Hey guys, so it's now Sunday. I haven't vlogged all weekend and I apologize for the weird angle, but it's a really hot day today in Melbourne So I'm currently just sitting under the aircon in the kitchen But yeah, I didn't really vlog too much because I wasn't doing too much this weekend So I didn't really just want to be filming empty clips yesterday I just spent a couple of hours at high point with my friends doing a little bit of shopping picked up a couple of books So I might actually you know, why don't I show you guys those? So I picked up two books while I was at high point and they're both books that I've heard a lot about in a couple of recent reading vlogs that I've seen so the first one is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. And I did pick this up when I went to High Point on Tuesday, but I didn't end up buying it just because I haven't bought a physical book in so long and it felt really strange. Yeah, I didn't pick it up on Tuesday and then saw so many people talking about it and I was like, dang, I, like I should have bought it. So when we went back yesterday, I picked it up. Now I am so excited to get into this. I've heard a lot of people kind of comparing it to City of Bones because it does have that whole hidden world aspect. There's this whole magical society that is hidden to humans called Legendborn who hunt down these demonic creatures, I think. What I love is that this is set in high school. So we're following Brie who decides that after her mother dies, she might try this different high school for bright teens. And what she doesn't expect is to see See, like this magical fight unfold her first night on campus and someone from legend born actually tries to wipe the event from her memory but instead of erasing it it actually kind of unlocks her own magical ability and so it's just this whole cool thing and it, the blog even mentions like how these legend born society members are descendants from king arthur and like the leader calls himself merlin and i'm like hold up as soon as I read that it mentioned King Arthur, I was like, I need this in my life. And the next book I hadn't actually heard about until I saw this over on Eden is Reading's YouTube channel, and that is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And now that I've seen it on her YouTube channel, it's popping up all over my Instagram, all over my Facebook, and I'm like, what the heck? People are listening. This is set in 1920s Shanghai. It's a Romeo and Juliet retelling, but the story I'm pretty sure has been shifted a little bit to have Chinese heritage and also make them gang leaders. Like, mic drop. I don't know if you guys have seen that or what, but 
I am so excited. Oh, I should probably talk to you. I did mention that I was reading Racing Into Love. When you keep reading, it is definitely like a very heavy insta-love kind of story. I didn't realize that going into it. I wasn't really in the mood for an insta-love either, so I did find myself critiquing it a fair bit while I was going through, which I don't really like to do, but couldn't really help it in this situation. But yeah, it seems so insta-lovey. Everything's flowing so smoothly, so quickly, and then bam, freaking plot twist that I didn't see coming. This was honestly like insta-love to like thrill off the three chapters and then conclusion. And I'm like, excuse me, what? Would not have picked up that that was the kind of book that I was heading into. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because I'm just rambling at this point. So thank you guys for watching. And if you stuck through the whole thing, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos with me. I'm trying to upload once a week. I'm not always successful, but I will see you guys in my next one.